Hello everybody, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is how to install a custom skin for your Minecraft avatar. I am currently in the game, as you can see, with my inventory window open. And here's my character, and I have the basically the default skin that comes with the game, which is a blue t-shirt and purplish pants. Not very exciting. Now that thing behind me there, you can barely see as a cape that's added. Today is December 24th. So that we are in the middle of the holiday season here, um, and the developer put these capes on our characters. We don't really have any control over that, but I'm going to go ahead and load up a whole new skin. So I'm going to close down Minecraft right now. We don't need Minecraft open, so if you have it open, go ahead and shut it down. And you want to load up your internet browser. Now I'm using Google Chrome here, and I'm running Windows 7, so your screen may look a little bit different. I'm a big fan of Google Chrome, but if you're using Internet Explorer, Firefox, go ahead and load that up and you want to navigate to www.minecraftskins.com. So go ahead and type that in, hit enter, and you will see a screen very similar to this, which is basically a skin database. Now there are several other skin sites out there. This is one of my favorites. They have a huge database. And as you can see, it shows you the skin, it has a name. The person that uploaded the skin, developed it, and potentially uh, um, designed it. The date it was uploaded. And over here we have some buttons where we can download and order t-shirts and some other fun stuff. But we're really only interested right now in the download button. So because it's December 24th and the holidays are here, I'm going to go ahead and skin my character in a Santa suit. So Toby, smile. Thank you very much for this. Santa, I'm going to go ahead and click on this download button here. And we're going to download this. So when I click on that button, you will see a navigation window or a save window. Mine goes automatically to my downloads folder, which is under my username. And it will also automatically choose a file name for this PNG file, which is a graphics file. And that name is given automatically from the database. So that's the name in the skins database and our Windows is just grabbing that name. You can change that if you want. I can call it Santa Claus skin. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and save that to my downloads folder. Again, since I'm using Google Chrome, it shows me this nice little bar down here. It says it's done and I can navigate to that folder. I don't need to do that because we're not going to load it through Windows actually going to load it through Minecraft.net. So now that the skin is downloaded you want to go over to Minecraft.net. Now I have it loaded up in another tab over here so I'm already there. I'll wait for you. So you want to go to Minecraft.net. That's the official home page of the Minecraft game. And once you're there you need to log in. You have to be a registered user because there's another link here we're interested in and it's called profile but you can't see it until you log in so I'm gonna go ahead and log in I'm gonna type in your username and password it reloads the page click on this right here profile which wasn't there a second ago as I said it's only there if you're registered and now I see my current skin which is the default reference guy in t-shirt and purple pants but I want Santa suit, so I'm going to click on this down here where it says choose file. It's going to open up this navigation window, and mine conveniently goes to downloads. Yours may not. It's because I have loaded up skins before and it remembers the last folder you were working with. Yours may go to your desktop, might go to your documents folder, may go somewhere else. But just navigate to the folder where you saved your new skin, and then just select your skin. Just click on it one time and you'll see that it shows up down here in the file name click on open and now that is in memory it doesn't automatically upload as you can see I'm still staring here at the default blue shirted purple pented man so what I need to do next is click on upload image and that takes it from memory uploads it to minecraft.net and as you can see I am now skinned in a comfy red fluffy Santa suit and let's go to test that I'm going to go over to Minecraft 
and run the game. Load up a single player. And I should look like Santa Claus. Oh, I see a Santa hand. And there I am in Santa, and I still have that holiday cape, which is a temporary thing. And I'm sure that will disappear. So as you can see, it's got a little, a little Christmas tree on it. Um, and that was added by the developer. It's not part of this skin, actually. And here is my Santa suit. Now that yellow circle is just part of my screen recording program. It's not... Santa's nose is not glowing. Now let's see if I can get a nice close-up. There we go. And to do this, by the way, you press F5. Now this is the normal standard view. If you press F5, you get this chase cam. I call it the chase cam. Then press F1. And hold F1 down, and you can do this. You get this free look camera. You can take screenshots now by pressing F2. Just a little bonus there. And as you can see, it says save screenshot, and that goes into your Minecraft folder. So there you have it. That's how to install a custom skin for your Minecraft character. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.